everyone, welcome to Jia Podcast. I'm Celine and that's Sarah. Today I am really, I've been really, really looking forward to talk about today's episode and today's uh, topic is secondary school. Because we school. planned this, we planned this episode from the start. Yeah, like, yeah. This yeah. was the top, one of the topics at the start. <laughs> yeah, and and today we are going to be talking about our secondary school. Uh, we call it secondary school bullshit, but actually it's just a lot of the stupid stories and crazy stories that we have um in our younger years and for both of us it has been nine years since we graduated from secondary school so 16 right we are 16 we graduated so Mm. it's been a really really long time and i think when we were young maybe some things we didn't dare to stand up for ourselves or maybe we didn't even realize it's really messed up until years later when we are older and we look back and then we're like oh shit that was really like very creepy or like, you know, we should have said something, you know, so what they did was illegal, stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, it's true. Yeah. Today like you can... Sec- yeah. Sorry. No, no I, I said- just wanted to say that like when I, was in second- when I was in secondary school, like I did understand some of the actions that the teachers did. But then like I thought to myself, okay, maybe when I'm older, I'll understand. But now that I'm older, I still don't understand like why, why they behave like that. Yeah. So, so I think like um, now that we are now that ten years almost ten years have passed, we are going back down this path so you can join us on our nostalgic path as we recall the stupid incidents. Yeah, the stupid <laughs> incidents that happened in our school. So I do have some uh, incidents from primary school which are pretty messed up. So I'll just include them here as well. And I just want to say a disclaimer, right? That um, there have been there are good people and there are. Nice memories that we both have from our school. So it, even though today is more of like a shading session, not shading, but like exposing because some of the things they did was really illegal. Uh, yeah, I just want to say it was not 100% bad. It was maybe 70% bush. <laughs> you don't get what I mean. You get what I mean, okay? And nothing, nothing is 100% bad, nothing is 100% good. But today we are just talking just about, like, talk the about the bad, bad stuff. Cuts. Yeah. Because if we just talk about the good parts, then we have not, nothing to say. It's going to be boring. Yeah, it's going to be very boring. So we're going to have the juicy parts. So we are going to start, Sarah. Okay, I, I saw your notes. So I think, and I thought my story was quite bad until I saw your notes. So I think I should start from mine first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, slowly build up. <laughs> okay, so let's start from the craziest one. Okay, I, I, okay there was this teacher. I wasn't taught by her, lah, but... Uh, you know, sometimes you walk past the class. So apparently, like, she has um, this rule, right? That before her class, um, the, they had to send one representative, one guy. I don't know why, it's, it's specifically a guy, but I didn't remember wrongly. To go to her shelf or office to collect her box. Like, so before her class, right, you must run down to the teacher's room or whatever. Yeah. To collect the, her box with all her stuff. And then run back to the classroom. Then when the runner reach the classroom, then all the, everyone in the class has to stand up and be ready to greet her. So sometimes, right, I when I walk, like, go, I, when I go to the toilet or something, right, then I'll see, like, the entire class standing up. Then I'll be, like, wondering, like, what, what is happening? At the start, I didn't know. Then I was like, what is happening? Like, why are they being punished? Then I didn't see any teacher in the room. Yeah. And after that, I found out from my friend who was taught by her that this was the culture that she implemented. I think a lot of teachers expect that though. At least yeah, from... She's the only from, one in the oh. entire school. Okay, for, for... I think this runner thing is... Uh, yeah, some of the teachers just use their students as mates. La. There's, there's no other way to say it. They, they just use them as like free labor. No, but that is... Okay, maybe the, the labor part Okay, fine. Like to a certain extent, I think I understand. Like you want someone to carry your stuff to class. Yeah. But the, I didn't understand the why must you stand up before she enter, before she even reach, and be uh, ready yeah, to Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like why, why, why is, is there a need for that? Like I don't understand the reason behind. I this still, behavior. I also don't understand. Just some teachers, <laughs> just just psychotic. So you just you you just mentioned this right? It remind me of something very similar. Okay, this happened in poly. So in mm-hmm. one of my class. So just, just just to say, uh, both of us, me and Sarah, we are from different primary school, different secondary school, but we are in the same polytechnic. So we only met when we were like 17. So anyway, in poly, right, we had this class. It's one of those uh, extra class. I think it's called Innovation and Something One. I don't know if you remember. Innovation. Seven, and... 
Seven Innova. I remember the quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like called Innova. So this was nothing to do with our main course. So this is one of those like, you know, bonus that, that the school make us take. So this teacher, right, she would sit at the table and then she would, she would, there was the teacher's desk and then there was one day the teacher's desk had no chair. I don't know why. Maybe it's, you know, sometimes group project or, you know, sometimes it's the teachers themselves. They will move the chairs around or whatever. So she was just sitting on the desk and she said, Hi, uh, no men. Uh, so uh, why are all the men in this class so ungentlemanly? <laughs> cannot see there's no chair for the teacher. Nobody even volunteered to take the chair. And I was like, what the fuck? You got hands, you got legs. Go and take the fucking chair yourself. And and the thing is, right? I there, there are people who there are people who still did it. I tell you, uh, I tell you, even if I'm a boy, uh, I will sit there and stare at her. She stare at me, I will just stare back at her face. Really, I'll just be like. I just don't understand uh, some people where they get this this sense of entitlement from, you know. The real true sense of entitlement. Like I, I have no idea where they get it from. Same. I think I'll just No like I think maybe when I was seventeen I'll be scared. Then I'll just take the chair for her. But then yeah. right now I think I'll just sit and stare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So my story Unless right? she's my uh. unless she's like my boss and she's paying me, right? She she's going to take the chair so. <laughs> Yeah, so okay, so I wanted to tell my story from primary school, okay, because when I was in primary school, right, what exactly what you said. When we were young, we were very scared, you know, later the teacher punish us, how, you know, like all that kind of stuff. I call your parents, I tell you, I'm yeah. very scared. So when I was in primary school, I used to have this teacher when I was in P3 or P4, and I was from a very prestigious primary school, so I'm just going to say I'm from RGPS, right? Then there's this woman called Madam Priska. And she was. You really um, going to name them? No, I, mean, I tell you what. I'm telling you what. I'm telling you why. Because right, what she did is downright illegal. Downright illegal. Oh, so she uh, was she uh, uh, did she appear in the news? That's the thing. I don't know how come right. She managed to keep up for so long and nothing happened to her. But anyway, what she did was downright illegal. So um, uh, she was my math teacher. She was my form teacher for about two years, and every time someone forgot to bring to to bring their homework or forgot to sign their test. She would make the students line up in one line and she would go and pull their ear. Okay, that, that was already, that, first of all, that is already illegal. I don't know why nobody caught, nobody um, sent, sued her. Okay, I think at that time, right, when I, was in, when I was in primary school, that was like 15 years ago. So, so okay, the culture is quite different. Right? If I knew what I knew today, definitely I would have said something. And I'm very sure the, the school knew that she was doing this because eventually it did come out in the newspaper. They didn't name the teacher, but they did say that there was this teacher abusing students. And so uh, in my class at that time, there was this girl, she always, she was a very forgetful girl. And I mean, okay, back then, right, we were like nine and 10. So she always forget to bring this, she forget to bring that. I don't know whether she did it on purpose uh, like um, because last time we need to sign our test scores, right? And I don't know whether she purposely didn't sign because she didn't have to show her parents or what it is. And this woman, right? This this woman, she just slapped her in front of the whole class. So I'm telling you, she uh, it, it was it was so embarrassing. Can you imagine at that age you get slapped in front of everyone? I it, it was it was really bad, and. So you know, I that, that's the thing. I'm not close to this girl. Okay, we were not like you know, uh, very good friends at that time. I just remember that that happened, and I I don't know whether at that time we felt any sympathy for the girl because right because we always had this. You know, the teacher will always say this. It's your fault for forgetting to bring. And so you deserve this punishment. And when you are so young, right? When we were like 9 and 10, we were like, oh yeah, she deserved it because she forgot to bring her stuff. And she keep forgetting to bring her stuff. Instead of at that time recognizing that what you're doing is illegal, downright abuse, you're not allowed to do that. You're not even allowed to touch me. This teacher, she's been... Um, she was teaching before I, I came into primary school and after I, I left primary school, she was still there. And... Every time, like, she pulled my ear and all that, I didn't dare to say anything, right? Because I was scared. But I tell you, so I got one incident, right? That really, really changed the way that I see teachers. And after that, I really didn't give a fuck. So when I was in primary five, I used to have a diary. So if you watch Mean Girls, right, it's kind of like a burn book. And, so and you wrote and, teacher's name? <laughs> no, I didn't. I mean, I wrote, yeah, I wrote what I didn't like about the teachers. Okay, so when I was in primary five, I was about 11 years old, right? 
I wrote my I wrote things that I didn't like about my teacher or wrote things that maybe happened in my family that I wasn't happy that you know maybe with my parents I wasn't happy I wasn't happy with my classmates and I want to say that this book is really a diary okay even though I say it like a burn book it was not meant it was not passed around it was purely uh purely what I I thought and I only I read it and only I wrote it in it wrote in it ah uh, okay so um one day I I left it under my desk and so my classmates found it because they were shifting the tables for exams so usually we sit uh we sit in groups but then because of exam they shifted the tables and then I think they found the book and they went to give this book to my form teacher and my form teacher right she she read through the whole thing and she was so angry and she actually went to take the book right and then she went to show other teachers and she went to, okay, so this, this teacher is my form teacher. My, she's my English teacher. She went to show it to my math teacher. Oh, I think at that time I wrote like, oh, like I, I like one of the guy teachers more. It's not that I have a crush on him, but I just like his math class teacher. because he's funny. Yeah. Because yeah, he's a very I funny think. guy. He was my PE teacher, so he was a very funny guy. So I, I said I wish that I was in his math class. So my math teacher, right, was a, a old lady and then she read out everything like, even the things that I wrote about my classmates, she just read it out and shaded me in class in front of everyone. And that really made me... Of course, it was very embarrassing. Uh, because, I mean, it actually, it's a diary, right? I don't feel like... I don't even think they had the right to read it. If they knew it was mine, right? They should have just returned it to me, right? It's not like I was plotting to murder them or something. So... And I want to say, right, it wasn't even... It wasn't... Because my form teacher is, is, is Malay. It wasn't even racist. I was writing about her. I was writing about um, uh, my my math teacher who's a Chinese lady. So I don't know when my my form teacher brought it up. She said like, oh, you know, it's like 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 she don't like don't like Malay or whatever. I was like, I'm not just writing you. about you. It's not yeah, your yeah. Race. And and I didn't mention anything about her race. So you I said you didn't like her lah. I said I I. If I remember correctly, because I I don't know where this book went, okay? I don't know whether I threw it away or what. But anyway, I think I did mention that the way that she graded some of our compositions, I, I wasn't very happy with the way that she graded our compositions because I thought that I deserve higher marks. This is a very I, I normal thought. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So so it was this kind of stupid shit that I was writing in the book, lah, okay? So she went to... The, after they... they uh, show it to the whole class and everything and I, I I remember I was like just crying because I was so embarrassed and so like mortified right then I called my parents I called my mom and then uh, no I called my I called my dad then I told him what happened and actually uh, I was thinking to go and apologize right apologize for what I, I wrote and everything and because at that time at that time when I was so young I really thought that it was my fault like I really did something wrong and my dad, he told me, no, you don't apologize. You don't apologize. I'll go down and see the teacher. And so, I think he, he, I don't know what happened, but he went down to the school. He saw the teacher. He got the book back. And that that was the end of it. Of course, afterwards, it got very awkward. Lah, but <laughs> uh, after that incident, right, it really... Um, I think after the incident, I really started to not respect my teachers. Not in a, I don't know how to say, not, not in a rude way, but you know, when we were young, that kind of reverence you have for your teachers, right? Oh, they are, you know, they are, they are role models, you should respect them. But after this incident, I really felt like, I, I, I think teachers are like, just normal human beings. They can do, they can make mistakes as well. It's not just us. I don't give a shit sometimes, like if, it doesn't matter that we are so much younger than them. Sometimes they are wrong, they are wrong. And that's really what mm-hmm. changed my attitude going into secondary school as well. So uh, that's, That was me eh, during secondary school. Like, after secondary school, I didn't like teachers. Or I told myself I'll never become a teacher because I don't want to behave like that. Even like, until poly, I really hated like teachers. Oh, yeah. Like, the, 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 the government, the MOE Oh my god, am I going to get cancer? I really didn't like the MOE teachers. Then, it's only until uni, then I, I met, like, my friends, some friends that mm. are MOE scholars, right? Then they're actually really nice people. Then my impression of, like, teachers started to improve. 
Yeah, I I yeah, feel. I still don't want. I don't want to be a teacher. I just uh, traumatized from secondary school. Not like they did something very like personal to me, but it's just you know when you observe their behavior. Yeah, I I I, I, I totally like understand. I really yeah. totally understand. So um, going into secondary school, right? I become very daring. <laughs> so, so it, one of the other other things that happened. So, for example, right. I had a boyfriend when I was in SEC 2 and I had the same boyfriend from SEC 2 all the way until I graduated from uh, secondary school. So that was like good three years that we were together. And my teacher, right? <laughs> so when I, I, when I was in SEC 3, my teacher, my form teacher, this guy, he, he come to me and then he was like, uh, Celine, I, I, realized, I, I realized that you are are you dating like this boy? And I was just like, oh yeah. Then he was like, uh, hey, very funny. Do you think you should be doing it? And then I was like, yeah, wh- wh- <laughs> yes. Why not? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I was, I, I don't understand. Like, what's the, what's the problem? He then he, he threatened me, you know. He said, what if I call your mother and let her know? And at that point, right, my mother already know for one plus year, and then I was like, no, he, she knows. Call her. <laughs> Tell her, tell her, let her know, let her know what she already knew. That was like. Then after that, he really bopey, and then he just, he just like, okay, but yeah lah, it's, it's it's just this type of stupid shit. Hey, were your were your grades very bad? Uh yeah. <laughs> no okay okay. I just clear clarify this right. My grades were not bad because I had a boyfriend. My grades were bad because I couldn't. I I I consistently bad grades for math and science. It was definitely not because of my boyfriend. Uh, but maybe to them, it, it might seem that it's because um you were dating, then th- that's why you didn't have time to study. Yeah, but I didn't understand why he had to threaten me. Like, okay, like, 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 I mean, if he thought that it was my grades that suffering, then, you know, you just say, like, like, uh, you know, is it affecting your grades? And then how, how you can work through, right? It was straight away, like. What if I call your mother? What if mother? I call your mom? Yeah, what if I call your mother and tell her? Then I'm like, mom. Call <laughs> Do it. The thing is, no, at least for the longest time, right, I thought it was part of their job scope to break couples. Yeah. <laughs> Until that I asked this uh person, then I think he's going to become a teacher. And then he said that no way, it's not within their job scope. Like they're just their main job is to teach and to like do it well. So, yeah, I I actually don't know how how. F- how big this teacher's job scope is, right? Okay, because I don't know whether they are actually supposed to be concerned about your character and whether they should be concerned about your uh, personal life. Uh, because it is like... Yeah, yeah, no? I mean, I don't know. I don't I know. I'm not a teacher, so I cannot... I, I don't actually know whether that, that is part of their job scope to, 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 to you know, be so nosy. <laughs> okay, I mean... Some, some of them, they are, how do I say it? Like, some of them, they, they come from a very, they come from a good place. Like they, yeah. are, they genuinely, they genuinely care for you and want you to grow up to be very good humans. But some are just... Yeah, some <laughs> are just pure, pure evil. Some are just pure, pure evil. Okay, so I have another story, right? And I think um, my friends, my, this woman is my CCA in charge. And a lot mm-hmm. of people in my CCA, we didn't like her lah. And, okay. So basically, this woman, she was a English teacher. And I remember that during my... When it was near the O-level, so if you take higher Chinese, so I took higher Chinese last time, your Chinese O-levels will be when you're in sec 3. So I will remember yes. that the deadline for the the not the day for the oral exam was coming closer and closer, and so I wanted a practice round of the oral with my teacher, and she was only available on this day. So I said I'm just gonna be a bit late because I want to you know run through the whole oral exam and then just make sure that I'm prepared, right? I I remember I told my CCA the president, mm-hmm. so so he said. Yeah, fine, whatever. Just, you know, make sure you come afterwards. Then I was like, yeah, I, I did come. And then when this woman, she found out, right, she was like, just like, so angry. Then she asked me to go to a separate room. And then she was like, 
oh, you know, you are not allowed to do this. And and I said, oh, uh, I mean, at first, I mean, like, yeah, okay, I'm, I I did ask permission, but then I just said, like, yeah, because the, the Chinese O-levels is, I can't remember, it was like one or two weeks uh, one or two weeks later so I said because I, I, I really wanted to practice and all that you know and usually teachers they are more understanding right it's like the fucking O levels eh? it's not like it's, it's not like my midterm exam you know so she was like mm-hmm. oh so yeah. yeah and then I cannot remember what exactly I said but I, I was just explaining the situation and then she took a pen and paper then she wrote down so you are saying this, this, this. Then she paraphrased what I said into something that I did not say. Then she asked me, so you said this, paraphrase. right? The spinning lines. Yeah, she was just spinning into something. And then and then after that, she showed me. Then she was like, so you are saying this, right? If you are saying this, I need you to sign here. And let me tell you, right? At that time, uh, I was already sec 3. I tell you, uh, the, the, the amount of fucks I give, I uh, so little, right? I just looked at her in the face. I said, no. And she said, you're not going to sign? Then I said, no. Then she was like, uh, then I have to, then you may be liable for blah, blah. What, well, liable? Then I was like, you, so now, right? Yeah, then I, I was, I remember I was very angry. And then now the tables have turned because I was like, actually, you know what? You want to call my mother? <laughs> I want to, <laughs> you want to call my mother? I give you a handphone number, you call my mother. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, after that, she gave up lah, and she didn't get whatever signature she wanted. And she just like, she just, you know, say like, I got very bad attitude, blah, 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 blah. I didn't give a fuck lah. I mean like. Is she okay. still teaching? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've not been to my secondary school in a long time. I mean like, because of COVID lah. I sometimes, before COVID, I did go back to my secondary school and I avoid her. Even if she see me, sometimes she will force me to, you know, when I was in secondary school, she will force me to like bow and shit. And I honestly uh, just, I, I I mean like, she, she expect lah, she expect and she see me and then she will say like, like, like hey, Celine, blah, blah, blah. then I just ignore her or I literally just walk past her. Because I, was, I at that point, I was like, what can you do there? What can you do? What do you want to do? You want to send me to jail because I never say hi to you? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? That's all. <laughs> She's not even my teacher, okay? She's not even my form teacher. She was not grading me anything. Okay lah, but a lot of well, people did like Your stories are teacher. way wilder than mine. Like, I didn't have... I didn't really have like mm, personal bad experiences with that. I just mostly didn't like the way like how they behave. Oh, uh-huh. I I did have a lot of bad experience with them because I I don't know why. Okay, I I. Uh, in my secondary school, uh, I don't know whether it's the culture that the teachers just tend to be more controlling. Way more. Is it because like secondary? Do you think it's because like you're in that age? No, 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 no. It's because I come from a very Chinese school. Okay, and I, 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 from from where I was last time in RGPS, it was like a very Western, Western. You know that kind of more. I wouldn't say like they're liberal. They're not liberal lah. But but last time I was in a different culture kind of school, and when I went into secondary school, I went into a very very Chinese school and I didn't even think that it would have such a huge difference mm-hmm. because I was like we're all we are all you're in Singapore child, right, right? Like, like you're a child right? like yeah, what, yeah. what would you expect yeah yeah we were like I was like we're all in Singapore what kind of huge difference and I think it's really the culture of the school you know that, that the school motto is like like in Chinese and then they put a statue of Confucius outside the school that, that kind of place so it's I, I'm I've never been to another secondary school, so I wouldn't know. But from what I hear, right, other people's secondary school is not like that. That's why I, I, I would say it is really because of their they they the the school really wanted to cultivate that atmosphere. Mm. Yeah, that's why I, I I I think that's why a lot of people or more people got into trouble. Especially if you are the uh, kind, right, who don't don't step down. Like, yeah, you don't like, you know, like if the teacher come and scold you and then you are the kind who don't step down, right, then you definitely get into trouble like, because you will be like, why? Do you feel like they argue with you just because they want, as in they punish you just because they want to win? 100%. 100%. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, okay, I can understand, right? I can understand how difficult it is teaching that age group from 13 to 16 right i mean 13 to 16 
people are hooligans lah during that time, okay? But <laughs> I feel like if you don't have the heart to teach this group of people, then really please don't teach them. Don't torture them. Don't make them feel bad about their, themselves. Don't make them feel bad about their future just because you're having a bad day. I feel that mm. is... And and I, I mean like, okay, for me personally, I don't really like to hang around kids, especially very young children. And I know that about myself. So I just don't, don't do it. Because if I cannot control my temper, if I cannot control my temper around them, uh, and then you are down there just scolding people for no good reason, you know, making them feel bad for no reason. You know, like, then why are you in that, in that career? Why are you doing? Uh, okay. mm-hmm. yeah, but, um, your school had a, like, elitist culture. And because you told me it's one stream school, right? Single stream yeah. school. Yeah. So... How do you be mine, elitist? Huh? How do you be elitist if there's only okay, one okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. My my school is uh. There's this status they give to those better like better schools, those higher PSLE cut off score. Is it not IP? It's not SAP. There's, there's a there's a abbreviation for it. What is it about that school? What is it about these schools? Like, they are. Supposedly better schools lah. I don't know. There's a name for it like uh, is it SAP or IP? Or no no IP I IP is the six years one. SAP, yeah, SAP is my school is SAP school. Okay, basically I remember there was this title that they gave. So my school had it. And my school was a three stream school. So there was this teacher, right? She always had to like remind us that uh, we are a good. Eh, we are not like any other neighborhood school. My school was oh. located in the heart of Amokyo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah, nothing more neighborhood that. than that. that. They, they, yeah. My school did that also. Yeah, my my school was located uh, located in the 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 middle of Clementi. Yeah, so, uh, I think my school. I uh, but I I think my school was not uh, not considered a neighborhood school. So, uh, but they uh-huh. did, they did uh, yeah, like yeah, to correct. make the comparison. Yeah, stream, uh. yeah, yeah, my school yeah, So they always not... like compare uh, my school to like other schools. I didn't like this. Mm-hmm. No, I feel like maybe, it, I feel like it's your, if you, even if you think that your your workplace is better than other workplaces, so you should keep it to yourself. You shouldn't instill this kind of thoughts in kids, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't even think of that. I mean, they did do that, but I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't like it. Okay, mm-hmm. so in your school, were there any, like, pervy stuff going on? No, like, only, like, you know, those male teachers, they are biased to girls. That's all. But they, no, 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 like, illegal things happening. Okay, so... I, oh God, I'm making my secondary school sound like a breeze. It's just supposed to be a shading session. <laughs> no, but, but the bad stuff that... The things I didn't like in my secondary school, right, I can't hold a candle to like, <laughs> Whatever you just said. Okay, so... um, I don't know how... how de- I don't think I'll go into very detailed because, again, uh, all these stories involve minors. So, mm-hmm. uh, even though it happened... Eh... I I won't go into so specific detail. So there were a lot of uh very sexual stuff also that happened in secondary school. So one of them, if I remember correctly, was a relief teacher who was dating two girls, two students from my batch. And he got caught got fired and he did more than just dating them so uh i don't know personally what what i mean i personally wasn't involved in that story but i remember that happened for sure but what Mm. happened to me was when i was in sec 2 right i had this teacher and my form teacher again my form teacher was a man and his surname is tan okay so these are very common surname in singapore they're like a, a, a million a million tans hanging around singapore so i just keep it like that his this guy, 
he added us on Facebook. And at that time, Facebook was uh, the way that we communicate. Okay, at that time, WhatsApp was not a thing yet. So you didn't have like group WhatsApps for your whole class. And back then, it was group Facebooks, uh, Facebook groups. So in the Facebook groups is where your... Uh, you know, your friends could, your, your whole classmates would be posting stuff or you should be sharing stuff. You would tag people in Facebook. So uh, we added, we all added each other uh, on Facebook and this guy, right? So this guy, he would start messaging girls at night. And I don't know how many people he did it to, okay? I didn't know how many people he did it to. But at least me and my best friend. So uh, my best friend, uh, like Yuying, right? Uh, I remember she said it as well. Both of us. He would be texting us on Facebook Messenger at night saying like, Oh, what are y'all doing? I'm going to drink beer and I want to go to KTV. I like to drink beer. Uh... Uh, yeah, then ask like, who do you think is good looking in the class? You know, like... And a lot of uh. like very inappropriate questions. So again, at that time, I didn't know. I thought he was just being friendly. But he started to talk about a lot of very personal things with us. Like things that we I... like, things that we don't like. And then um, discussing with us like what we think about the different boys in our class. And <laughs> yeah, and his personal okay. hobbies of... of, of Getting, you know, drinking beer in, in KTVs. Which if you... I mean, at that time, right? Me and Yuying, we always go to KTVs. But the KTVs we go to are those kind like... For, for, for teenagers. Yeah, Tio Heng. Yeah. Or, you know, that time was uh, K-Box, you know. Now that I think of it, right? It sounds like he was going to those shady KTVs. Because he the always... The Road there one. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the kind where there are escorts and all that. Because he was messaging literally in the night time. And he keep talking about having beer and having a good time. And that he's like... What was he saying? Was he single? Or, uh, no, no, no. He had a girlfriend at that time. So then he was sometimes say like, you know, his skin very smooth. La, and then when he's, he's young, he's very good looking or whatever. I think he was drunk when he messaged you all, definitely. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, really, I really have no very idea. Very strange. It's, it's very strange, he right? Because he, he had a girlfriend. I mean, he had a girlfriend at that time. And he had a girlfriend at that time. And he's like messaging young girls on Facebook. His students on Facebook in the, in the night time. So... <laughs> Is he still teaching? <laughs> Oh, after after he taught us in sec two, he got transferred to another school. I don't know whether he's still teaching, but I heard like, I heard he got transferred. Everything is I hear one, I hear, I hear. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was one of the the very very strange stuff. Now that you know, like 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 I look back and think of it, it's like, what was he trying to do? And do you think like the their workplace environment is toxic? The teachers? Yeah. Because for my I I think I think uh it was toxic because okay, I had this friend. So this friend A, she had another friend and that friend right, her friend was uh, intern in my secondary school before. And then I I heard right that she after the internship right, she totally didn't want to do to do teaching because it was so toxic. Yeah. Did that it elaborate? Knew, eh. No, no, no. I didn't. But that was when I knew where eh. the problem is not me, it's them. I was right. I I truly think that a lot of these secondary school teachers, right, or at least those that I have come across, that they need to go for uh they need to go for like a psych psychiatric evaluation because I feel like some of them are just downright evil. Like like evilness is running through their veins. I feel like they are so tired with life and so tired with what they are doing that, that they really, really become very salty and just like to take it out on students. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Um, so I feel uh, like this kind of thing stays, you know. What do you mean? Like, me to them, it's just a moment of like bad behavior or like bad mood. But then like, they don't think that you know, this kind of what they do right actually stays in like the students even if like you up after nine years you still remember all the things that they do 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I feel like after secondary school, I graduate, I really think back about what a lot of the shitty things that they did during secondary school, and I really feel like it's very messed up. So okay, one mm-hmm. of the things that happened a lot last time, right? Uh, do you know this website called Stomp? Yes. And I don't know yeah, whether Stomp you is something still around. can get NTUC vouchers on. Uh, apparently, like fifty dollars, <laughs> right? Uh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. for for people who don't know what Stomp is, Stomp is this paparazzi, this citizen paparazzi website, okay, where basically if you are you are spotting bad behavior in public, you will take out your phone and then you take picture of the bad behavior and then you report it to Storm. And Storm will basically Storm is for you to name and shame all these people. So I fucking hate that website. And uh, what they used to do with this website, right? Uh, last time, I remember if they see students... I remember there was this uh, couple. They were kissing la, okay, in Chinese garden. And it was uploaded onto Storm. And I was like... And then obviously, people people saw people saw the post and then they started getting spread around and then it eventually reached the teachers because they, they were wearing school uniform. And I just remember thinking like, who is so sadistic to go and do such things? I remember already <laughs> at that time I was thinking, this is too much and this is really, it's really, it, 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 it's, it's such disgusting behavior on the part of the people who are taking the pictures and, and, and posting it online. Because even back then, right, we knew that and it, it, we knew that once something is on the internet, you can never take it back down. It will always mm-hmm. be circulating. Thousands and thousands of people have seen it. You know, uh, you can take it down, but you know, once people get a screenshot of it, it's up there forever. And I just remember thinking that it was so horrible that that, you know, instead of saying don't do these stuff things, instead of supporting the students and say like you know what this kind of this kind of uh citizen citizen paparazzi bullshit should should be banned or they should you know talk to storm about it about about stopping this all these people they're all underage instead of that the message is don't do shady things in public if you don't want to get caught and i that yeah i mean if no, you I really feel like, feel like want... it's inappropriate, right? I feel like if you really thought that them, it's true, okay, fine, them kissing in public, maybe you think it's very inappropriate. Actually, you, it can is, contact the, it... you can contact the school privately. You don't have to post uh... it online. You know, you yeah, want to take picture, yeah, yeah, you true. just send to the school privately. Or you go and them. Yeah. Why not I'll... you just walk out and school and say you're doing like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, 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 I understand if you, you, you really feel like if you see a bunch of kids smoking, instead of uploading it to the internet, just go to the school directly. Don't go and do these kind of things. It really, you know, at that time, the people are so young. You are like 14, 15, 16 years old and then all your embarrassing things is up on this stupid website forever. So I remember even back when I was, uh, uh, when, I, when I go with my friends after school, I remember there was one time we were on the MRT and we get very paranoid about people using their handphone to take picture of us afterwards. So I remember we were sitting in the MRT and like literally, right, when the... You know, sometimes we get very excited. Then we'll talk, 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 talk a bit loud. Then we get very paranoid. Sometimes my friend will be like, hey, put, your, put, your, put your head down, put your head down so that people cannot take picture of our face. And now mm-hmm. you think, think back about that, right? This is so fucking retarded. That's so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, the thing is that it's like secondary school kids, they're going to do things that are stupid, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know it's not, um, social, socially, like, you know, not, not social etiquette, but you just think back at that time when you're a teenager, like, you really can understand. Sometimes teenagers, you are just with your friends, you're just having fun, you know? You are just, you're just young. And I don't say when I go onto a train with noisy noisy teenagers, I also get sometimes very irritated because they are very, very loud. But But you won't go take picture, right? I'll move uh, to yeah, the I know, no, I'm I'm just saying that I can understand why why people will be irritated, but just think they're they're just they're just young people and you are once that age also. So don't be so cruel to them. Mm-hmm. And now now that that I'm older and I think about what how the school deal with all these stomp things 
that made it made me feel very disgusted. You know, last time people also like to I don't know lah. Some girls right from my school, I think they go and buy bubble tea, and then they go and drink on the MRT platform. Which I mean, they knew they knew they should not be doing that, but again, people go and take picture, go and post online, and then the whole thing again. Then people, you know, the the teachers will be scolding in front of of the the like the during assembly, then then mentioning all these kind of things like just. No, I feel like it's Tom's fault mainly because they have this. They give you some vouchers, but if you go and post something, yeah, 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 yeah. No, so I people really have the motivation. I feel like if Tom don't get, give out this kind of thing, nobody will go and take picture and upload online also. Eh? Yeah, I agree. I I don't know. I don't know how Tom managed to survive for so long. I don't know how it was even a thing. Isn't it illegal to anyhow take picture without their consent? I don't even know how come this website is still up and running. I no idea. But I'm just saying that I feel like I think Storm was um, attached to one of the major publications. I cannot remember it was Asia 1 or it was... I don't think it's Straits Times, but I think it was Asia 1. Today? Uh-huh. Yeah, but... I mean, I feel like the school should have spoken directly to the publication and say, look, these are kids. Leave them alone. Don't post anything that's related to them. Right, I I I feel mm-hmm. like that 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 I don't I don't know if my school actually did that, but I feel like that's what they should have done, unless it's something that is life threatening. Okay, because I remember in secondary school, right, there are some idiots not from my school, not from my school, but I remember on the news there were some idiots who were doing some choking challenge. You remember? Like like they, they go to the it. staircase and then they try and choke each other and then some then then you know choke until they faint just to achieve that little high for a while. That there, there was some. I thought your school elite school. No, no, not 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 my school, not from my school. Ah, okay, okay. But but I remember, I mean, those kind of more dangerous and life threatening stuff, right? That that there is a point in reporting because you want to make sure that your students are not doing such things. But all the other small transgressions, I really feel like it's just pettiness. It's just pure pettiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the vouchers. <laughs> Fifty dollar, fifty dollar voucher, yo! It's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I hope Storm is gone now. I really hope Storm is gone. No, but at least I don't see this kind of news on Storm. Like the the news I see about secondary school kids are very serious cases. Like, like they are breaking the law kind of like news, but not this kind of small small things. Oh, I I I. So I I, I, I think I think it's mostly gone. Uh. Yeah, I don't know whether I don't know whether it's still up there or they took it down. Um, you know, they have some conscience and then then took it down. Mm-hmm. So let me see. I think also people are not interested to read this kind of news anymore. Don't you think so? Yeah, I feel like the culture has changed, lah. Mm-hmm. I feel people yeah. now now are more enlightened to the fact that this is cyber bullying. <laughs> because I think it back- is. Yeah. Because I think back then people all people had the mindset that if you don't dare to do it, if you don't, if it cannot be posted online, you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Mm-hmm. So I I feel like it's just a it's just a mindset change. So um, the next part that I that I I, I noted down was when I was in sec four, right? Sec three and sec four I had the same form teacher, and my class generally didn't like him because he was. Wild, that's a very mild way of 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 calling him. But he was wild, so, uh, I think he's one of those people, right? He got very he 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 got a lot of stress at home, or you know the workplace very toxic. Then he kind of take it on students. So this teacher, right? I remember we when we were in sec four, we had this thing called fine dining. So all the students had to go for it and then learn how to to, uh, learn the proper social etiquette of eating in a high. In a atas establishment, so I remember he told us this rule very funny that every time someone, if let's say you are sitting like in a table, so the the, the place was like a big banquet hall lah. If you are sitting in a table, if a lady gets up to go to the toilet, then the 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 I can't remember is it the whole table must stand or the guys must stand? You know, it's like like a like a etiquette kind of thing. But then of course, right, we just very quiet lah, nah. Then we like, oh, oh shit, this person wanna go toilet. Then we all must stand. Then we like, so okay, we all go toilet together. So at the end, right, all 40 of us 
all 40 or 30 plus of us we were just hovering outside outside the toilet because we, we go back then we need to stand sit stand sit then we saw then we just all go right then wow he go outside the toilet then he scold us <laughs> then we were like uh, I mean like okay lah fine lah that was, that was quite funny but this guy right so this fine dining thing right wasn't only our class it was the entire sex for cohort at the same time and then they had like a fashion show and all that kind of stuff so all the other tables right their teachers who were very nice let them cheer and you know shout for for their for their classmates and then they were like you know they take the napkin and they were like waving it around mm-hmm. like even the teachers were doing it no i mean like everybody was having a very good time except my class except my teacher so everybody from my class right we sat down And the worst part uh, right, is after that, right, we took the bus back to school and he was scolding us for the behavior of the other classes, you know. He was like, you know, in uh, he, he was like, what, the, the, you know, in the other class, uh, they just take the chair and then do this, do that, do this, do that. And the entire time in the bus, then he didn't let us laugh, didn't let us talk, didn't let us anything. He was just scolding us, you know. Then we're like, also not our class, why are you scolding us? So this same guy, right, this same, this same psychotic teacher, right, one day he found three sweet rappers in the dustbin of our class, okay, after recess. Oh Three God. sweet rappers. I know where this is going already. <laughs> so, first of all, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him. Why is he digging the trash? Okay, he's not like a little like what 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 <laughs> raccoon. <laughs> well, it's not like a raccoon or something, right? So anyway, he he, he found it and then he, <laughs> he was very angry. So he asked the class, "Who ate these tree sweets? Own up to it now." And I don't know whether at a, I don't know. Whether it was somebody from my class. I mean, because this is after recess, right? And then during recess, people go in and out of classrooms, you know, to find their friends or whatever. Maybe somebody eat and they just throw in the nearest dustbin, whatever it is. Nobody in our class admitted. So he wasted, uh, I cannot remember, is it two or three period physics class scolding us over the stupid sque- s- sweet rappers, make us stand in the classroom. And the worst thing is he asked, that time I was the was it class class monitor uh. is that is that what you call 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 chairman uh, class chairman <laughs> he asked me I, I had no idea what you were talking about you know what you said monitor chairman i didn't know it. i forgot that this thing existed yeah 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 i was the class president uh, the president class chairman <laughs> at that time right then he looked at me then he said do you notice who threw the sweet rappers and i was like what the fuck why no Right, everything I'm like just looking at the dustbin the entire time. So then there's this girl, right? She's sitting right in front of the dustbin. And then he turned to ask her and she's like, How come you don't know who, who threw it in? You are the one sit- you you sitting in front of the dustbin. And I was like, Why the fuck would I know why would the fuck would job. she notice who's throwing shit into the dustbin? If I'm talking to my friend, if I'm walking around, I why 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 would I be monitoring who throws shit into the dustbin? <laughs> right. Then so after that, he, he wasted his time scolding, 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 or whatever. I can't remember. Actually, this is before or after recess, but whatever it is. Uh. So he scolds, 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 scolds. And then after that, he said, uh, don't admit. Then he made us stand under the sun. And Singapore is fucking hot, okay? Just just so you know, Singapore is like extremely hot. You know, over here, people say like 18 degrees or 20 degrees is like people are sweating and whatever. In Singapore, it can go up to 35 degrees, okay? At that time, he made us stand in the sun in the parade square so that he could score us and force us to admit and then he it was damn stupid you know the the second the, the parade square there got a podium right then he stand at the podium with the singapore flag and the school flag behind him then he put his hands like this and then he was like trying to score us and then we were like just can you just again perspective right this was over three sweet rappers three sweet rappers okay so what's the there. rationale actually what's the rationale like of not letting the kids eat sweets. They say got ants, got cockroach, blah blah blah. I, uh, I don't know like the thing is I don't even think it's true, okay? You know if once you grow up and then you go into office, everybody's eating in office. You don't see like ants and cockroaches. There are people who come and clean up. In the schools there are also people who come and clean up. The students also have to go and clear the dustbin like every other day or I can't remember how often uh, but then you also have to do like maintenance but unless you know there's sweet drinks spilled on the floor and you know like sweet wrappers like literally everywhere, crumbs literally everywhere, then you have this kind of problem. So I don't know what exactly is his, his tighty, okay? So after after he, yeah. he, he shouted at us and it was quite funny because oh I think I think a lot of the other classes they saw they they came out they came out I think 
I think yeah, this maybe before recess. I'm not sure. But anyway, the other classes came out and then they saw us all standing in the sun getting shouted at by this teacher and then they all thought it was very funny. And then all of us were like trying to hold in our laugh because we also thought it was very ridiculous, ma. Then uh yeah, after he shout finished, then he let us he 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 got very tired of 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 trying to chase down this uh sweet sweet eater and and then he finally let us go. And then he said that we have wasted our class time. <clears throat> and I always feel like telling him, I mean, I hated physics, lah, so it doesn't really matter to me. But I always feel like telling him, no, you wasted our class time. I feel like this shit won't fly now. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. People people are very, very wild. I, I really I, I I really don't know I don't know what is happening to, to to students nowadays. I don't know if the students now are ballsier or the teachers have more compassion. You know last time my school hall used to have aircon. It still has aircon. And I remember there was a few times when we were very noisy. Or whatever it was, like, you know, we, we, were, we weren't paying attention or, you know, we were talking. I cannot remember what exactly it was. But to punish us, they would turn off the fans and turn off the aircons and leave the doors closed. So, to punish us, they decided to bake us in the hall. So, I want to say know, again. Uh, yeah, okay, now, now you say, say it, I remember it happened for mine. Yeah. And, and you wait, uh, the thing is, my school uniform was a pinafore. Eh. You know how hot was that? Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, it's this type of statistic things that they like to do. They really like to do this type of statistic things. I have no idea why. I, I would say that, like, um, yeah, so again, right, Singapore can be hot until it's 35 degrees. So, you just imagine, right, one school, there's thousand over people just trapped in that small hall with no fan and no aircon and just hearing our discipline master talk shit. You, you know, know what this reminds me of? The Netflix show, The Worst Prisons in the World. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel like, you know, you, you think of this now and you think of it, you think of it as an adult, right? I just cannot believe that. I just cannot believe that they thought that it was an okay thing to do. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I had the, set, the mindset now, back then, right? I would have like scolded a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, same, same. I, 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 that's why I feel like um, I, I would have. I feel like in secondary school, I did stand up for myself more. But now, now with the the kind of perspective I have, if I went back in time and they they did such shitty things, I absolutely would have scolded them. I don't mean to sound like a Karen here, but. I really feel like some of the things they do. I think they are acting like the Karen. It's not you. It's not us. It's yeah, them. it's 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 really it's really like they are very. I feel a lot of them they abuse their power. They are, they abuse their power as teachers, and they kind of know that as we are young, and a lot of us, I think it's like a Asian culture. So you are not really very. Uh, what's that? Confrontational. Not very confrontational people. A lot of us are like, okay, uh, their teacher is older, we should respect the teacher, so we just let the teacher do whatever they want, it's our fault. And I, I, I really felt like they were just abusing their power and mistreating a lot of us. So, um, I, <laughs> there are some teachers... behavior, basically. Yeah, there are some teachers that really, if I could go back in time, I would absolutely have scolded them. I remember I got another English teacher. She did the same thing. She, in the class, she forgot that she had class. And so nobody went to her office to tell her that she had class. And... Mm, okay, I know I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, and she got very, very, very upset that nobody told her that she was supposed to come to class. And and then she decided to make us all stand. Then she said we didn't. Okay, last time my classroom was got aircon, so she turned off the aircon, turned off the fan. Same thing, same thing. You know. And then she made us stand and go us, uh, say you why didn't you tell me? Blah 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 blah. And I I think of it now, right? She it's should be fault. apologizing to me. You forgot our class. Why am I apologizing like, to the you? Thing, like the she wasn't doing her job. Yeah. She should be apologizing to the students, not the other yeah. way around. I was like, why do you have 
the cheek to scold us. Am I supposed to remind you of your timetable? Or you supposed to remember your own timetable? If I don't come to school, is it your fault for not calling me to wake up? Like, <laughs> what? So, yeah. I, um, it just, just felt like she didn't want to admit that she was wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> if what? I were you, I would hate teachers more. Oh my god, no, I, I tell you, I really have a very... Um, I, I feel like whenever okay, my school one thing they, they emphasize on discipline and respect a lot. And for me and for me I feel like it was very, very difficult for me to to accept accept the the situations because I don't know is it like because of what happened in primary school or what, but I always f- felt like if you are not nice to me or I don't agree with what you are doing, I don't have to agree because just because you're a teacher. So for it's example, true, yeah, so so a lot of people say like a lot of the, the, the a lot of the teachers they kind of trying to instill this instill this like it's like a hierarchy high hierarchy, right? Like you are the bottom, the teachers are at the top. So what they say goes. But for me I had such a hard time and and even when when these teachers were being unreasonable, I just couldn't respect them. I couldn't. I could not treat them <laughs> with respect because they were being so unreasonable. And I'm uh, sorry, I'm still stuck on your raccoon story. Like I'm, I'm trying to hold my ear, my laughter so bad <laughs> because I just find it so funny. <laughs> that he was digging the trash for three sweep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not sending my kids to your secondary school for sure. Oh, I am um, not. I would not recommend my children to go to my secondary school either. Yeah, but I I think it was very difficult for me to 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 get through. Um, no, I mean to 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 follow their their motto and their culture or whatever because I just felt that they were abusing their power and I I just was like. Not having it. <laughs> Do you feel like you don't see these kind of things in like our poly lecturers and our uni professors? Uh, I like I... the thing. Is, I actually like the distance. You know, definitely we have less relationship with our, uh, like poly lecturers and uni professors compared to like you know with the secondary school teachers. I actually like it more that way. You know, like you do your job, I do mine. Yeah. Like you don't. You don't. Just don't be nosy. Don't mess my personal life. I prefer that kind of relationship. Yeah, yeah. I also prefer. I feel like I don't need... Okay, I I think it depends on the age as well. I feel like, okay, if you're younger, you definitely need discipline, right? When you are a kid, you need discipline. But the, the problem is that a lot of adults, they don't know how to control themselves with power. Literally, they, they cannot seem to... Um, they can't. You know, it's like like you 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 have the authority to discipline these children if they are being rude. You teach them not to be rude. You give them appropriate punishments. But a lot of people just take out their anger on these children. And I think when we are older, like in secondary, uh, no, in in uh uni uni and poly, right? Because we are older, they don't really care as much. Mm. But I think if you had that kind of distance in primary school and secondary school. It, it would be very difficult because then a lot of them would be very rowdy and you'll never get anything done because, you know, you, you kind of need that discipline for younger people. When you're a bit older, then you have, like, the self-awareness and then you're like, okay, I need to study for my own good, that kind of thing. But when you're younger, a lot of people don't have that. So I can understand why. No, but things like in secondary school, right? Okay, because there are some teachers that care less about your personal mm. life. Like, you can tell that there are some teachers that are just there to do their job. I like those teachers more. Like their homework, right? I will submit it on time. It's all those like very busy body, right? I would just submit it late. Because, yeah, I just don't like them. That was the most rebellious thing I did. <laughs> I'm not submitting homework. I can you imagine. I'm a loser, am I? Uh, when so I, like- I, I just prefer that kind of teachers. Uh, they just come and do their job. And they do it well. 
when I was in secondary school, okay, like, I, I, I did have quite a good relationship with some of my teachers in, in primary school and in secondary school. I mean, like, I'm still, if I see them, I will still, you know, be very friendly with them, say hi, talk to them and all that kind of stuff. Like, like really good relationship. Uh, ironically, I had the best relationship with my math teacher. That was my worst subject. Yeah, but she was also quite, uh, I mean, like, she, she liked to ask, you know, question all that. But she really asked, like, a friend. And even if she thinks that we are doing something wrong, or like if she she thinks that I'm doing something wrong, like like um, was it uh like like, what's that word? Yeah yeah. If I if she think like 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 I did something not 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 like a math mistake, but like I was in the wrong, she would just tell me like I don't think you should do this because of this this this. And because I respected her as a person, I took her words m- more seriously. And I was like, yeah okay, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I've been so rude. Or I I don't know like she I don't think she actually really told me all this type of stuff, but but. I feel like if she did tell me, I would have taken her words more seriously because I feel like she is not she just... She respect, la, yeah. She's not, yeah, she's not just scolding and punishing for the sake of it, for no good reason. So mm. I did have good relationship with some of my teachers. And I just want to say, right, in general, I was a very, very, like, no trouble kind of kid. La. I didn't get into... Really? I really, I really, I really wasn't... I, re- I don't... I don't. You like, just said that you became another person in secondary school. No, after as in, your primary school no, experience. I'm telling you, and I'm, I'm just saying, like I'm telling you, like um, I was All not the afraid. The, if I was not afraid, uh, if my teacher come and try and stare me down, that's what I meant. Uh, okay, okay, okay. If they try and intimidate me, I, I, I had the enough courage to look them in the eye and say like, no, I don't want to. I'm not gonna do that. That's what I meant. But in terms of like, I, I don't like do anything illegal, you know, um, I don't Smoking. drink, I don't smoke, all that kind of stuff, don't gamble or whatever lah. Uh, I don't like, I don't mess up the toilet, so I don't like purposely don't submit homework. I always try and do what I have to do as a student properly. It's only all these ridiculous other requirements that, that, that really make me very like, you want to find me, that's why I wasn't very scared of them because I was like, you want to... You want to come and find trouble with me just because of this stupid small thing? Because everything that I was supposed to do, I did properly. Well. So when they're gonna come from, want to come and find trouble over all these kind of like other small and stupid trivial matters, like oh, you ate like one sweet in class. Yeah, like, yeah, come and find me, ah, come and find me, ah, come find. <laughs> <laughs> The, that kind of thing. Are you, like, sure I mean, like, right? you know, like I don't purposely go out of my way to make trouble for people. Like truly, I don't. So even like yeah, when I was growing okay, up, okay, my parents. It. My I never really had like a very rebellious face. Like I wasn't that that kind of never had that problem. It was really just when when they come and pick trouble. I was like my secondary school time I feel like it was very uh <laughs> wild. Uh, I I wouldn't go back I wouldn't go back to secondary school. La. If if I if no, I, I think if you I don't could, want, you mean you mean like you don't want to relieve that face or you don't want to like physically enter the school again? I wouldn't relieve that face. Same. I did I did go back to my secondary school quite a few times, but the thing is, from that school I got a lot of friends who are still my friends today, and I really, uh, have a very close friendship with them. So. When I regret going to that school, then no la, I really got like. Half of my friends are from my secondary school, so, um, but I wouldn't want to go through it again. But mm, I feel like right, if I go through it again with my current mindset, I would have gotten into a lot more trouble. It wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't have. It wouldn't fly, la. It wouldn't fly. So better don't. Really? No, yeah. I feel like I wouldn't be scared if they threatened to call my parents. Like I, last time, I was really scared. That that was why like. I, I told a lot of lies to my teachers. Why? Because I really was really scared that they will call my parents. Why are you so scared they call your parents? Because to be to be honest, it's partly my fault so like for the things that happened. Oh, okay, okay. But I feel like right now, uh I'll be like just call, I just call. We can have a meeting. <laughs> I think when I was in primary school, actually, they did threaten to call my parents quite a bit. And my, my dad actually went down to the school a few times. Not because I was naughty. Not because I was naughty. It's because um, maybe things like... Uh, okay, this is Madam Priska, right? She liked to make us all sit on the floor and, and do our work. 
Instead Why? of stating, I don't know. I really don't know. I I, I got crazy. no. Crazy. Uh, yeah, just crazy. Oh. Just so. <laughs> the thing with me is I don't know I, when since I was a young kid, right? I cannot sit cross leg on the floor for too long because my legs get very numb and it's so uncomfortable. You See, know, no, no, like, it's not you. It's it's just it's a thing. Like yeah, you cannot yeah. sit in that position for a long time. Then she would make us like like take our book and then take our pen and then put it on the floor and write. And then then she would make us push away all the tables and chairs so that we can sit on the floor and write. I don't understand why you know. And so um that was one of the things. Then actually I hate it eh, cause we were wearing skirts, you know. Yeah. I hated sitting cross leg on the floor. I oh my god, no, you just unlock my memory <laughs> of my like the thing is, you know okay for my secondary school right because we wear pinafore then the girls have to wear like a safety shorts underneath. I don't like to wear. I don't wear. <laughs> you have to wear for safety lah. As in like like, like the, the school the say the school say you no, must wear. No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, pretty much all of my friends wore because you have to sit down like in that position. I didn't. <laughs> yeah Because it's very warm Oh yeah I know So la, I, I know. just hated Sitting in that position I wore I wore shorts also I wore shorts every day Underneath No the thing is I feel like If you're going to Make the kids sit In that position At least let the girls Wear shorts mm. like, Wear the shorts Like pea shorts like Not the uniform With the skirt mm, Yeah 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 yeah, but anyway, yeah. You're so, exposing, eh? Don't you think it's inappropriate, even with the shots down there? I didn't have a problem with that. I okay, personally I have have a problem. Yeah, that. yeah, I didn't have a problem with that. But for me, it was because my legs were numb, and and I think this type of things. Then I will always complain that she always, you know, like she pull my ear because I I forget to bring this book or I never sign. So my dad did go down and talk to them a few times, ah. No, but it's because of all this, right? It's because my dad go down and talk to them, right? I think I become less... I, I Then I become not scared when the teachers threaten to tell my parents. Because my my dad didn't... If let's say it's really not my fault, or like it's small things like, oh, she forget, she forget to bring her homework. That's why, that's why, that's why I pull her ear. And I, I start to know... I start to realize that Oh, this is this, this is such a small just, thing. Yeah, then my my, my just, father they, don't scold me. My father doesn't scold me. They justify it as like you shouldn't do this. You don't want to bring this kind of behavior when you go to your workplace next time. Yeah. Yeah, they were always that. grew up in workplace. And now that I'm working, right? It's not like that. Like, can you please keep up with the times? <laughs> People are nicer in the workplace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people are, are more forgiving in the workplace. But I'm just saying, like, because my yeah, because my dad didn't scold me or like especially for minor things, like the most he would say, like, why do you forget or, or next time remember to bring, you know, that kind of things. That oh, I become... put ten cents and call my mother, like, like I refuse to get scolded, you know. So during recess, I'll call my mom and I like, pass me the whatever worksheet or something. Oh yeah, yeah, I did also, I did also. <laughs> yeah, but I think it took away the sting of them threatening to call my parents. Because I'll be uh... like, Yeah, even if they call my parents then my parents will just be like, it's my dad especially like, My dad will just be like, oh, next time remember to bring, remember to sign. And I'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll remember next time. Then that's it. What that 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 that's in like that that's all my you get from calling my parents. So I was really like, it really took the no, sting I, away. I, I don't understand like why 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 is it so bad that the kid forget something? And what is so bad about they're, they're, they're it? What is so wrong? Pure and morally... perfection. They are expecting yeah, perfection. Ah, yeah. you, 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 you cannot, you cannot. I can't reason with my reason, yeah, people. Okay. You can't reason with the teacher one. I'm, I, I, I can understand that that you need to you need to teach people to to be responsible and all that kind. You know, be on time. Remember, bring your shit. But if you are doing illegal things to make them remember, then it's your fault, lah. That's on you, really. Mm-hmm. Then you need to go to jail or that one. <laughs> Or you need to at least stop being a teacher. That's the least you could do is stop being a teacher. Yeah, I feel like if you don't have the patience for it, just don't be a teacher. Just go and find something else. No, no, no. Now I remember got one, right? My, my CCA in charge, right? Wow, she also... Last time, she, she was this very uh, obnoxious woman who was in charge mm-hmm. of all our CCAs. And then, right, I remember I wanted to talk to her because I wanted to change my CCA. She literally wouldn't stop 
walking uh, to, to listen to me I said I went to her office then I said uh, hi so, so and so I would like to uh, you know I, I want to talk to you because I want to change my CCA for this reason blah 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 and anyway I couldn't have continued with NPCC because of my knee so you know I I, I couldn't run right uh, last time so I I, I I wanted to change my CCA she literally right she, I wanted to talk to her she just walk and walk and walk with me chasing behind her and talking to her you know so after that right I remember during uh, assembly, and I don't know why she liked to walk up and down the up and up. You know, like, like we're all sitting in two rows, and she liked to walk up and down. And down. Then she she you ask very, the hula, ask the patch lady la, it's the same kind. <laughs> she it's not a she's a very heavy woman. Okay, she's a very heavy woman, and she stepped on my hand. She didn't even say sorry. You know, she just stepped on my hand. She and just she go continue, you. She just called me, but she just mm. stepped on my hand. Then I said ouch. Then she just continued walking. You know. I don't believe she didn't know she stepped on people's hand. Like, like literally, because I see yeah. on the floor, what? Yeah, it's like, you sure can feel one. Yeah. So I tell you, uh, secondary school, right? Or oh, she left the school also, after, I, I can't remember when, but she did leave the school. So I tell you, secondary school, uh, uh, just, bad memories. Bad memories. <laughs> the more I think about it, the, I mean like Every time Now we talk 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 Then I suddenly remember Wow so many things happening Yeah, yeah. The, the things like the, I told you just now right I try not to remember Any unpleasant things So like for the past Nine years right I try very hard Not to think of like Any secondary school stuff But then like The stories you're telling me now right It's starting to unlock <laughs> Unlock memories <laughs> It's like now, now you put it, say, say it, then it's like a cathartic, cathartic feeling. <laughs> um, yeah, but but that's why I was very interested to, I was very excited to do today's topic because I really have a lot of stories to share. I want to make this uh disclaimer again. I did have good times in secondary school as well. It was not a hundred percent bad. I had a lot of good friends. I had. I have teachers that I liked and uh, one thing about being in this particular school is because it is a, quite a good school, I had a lot of opportunities to attend overseas, to you know, like even go overseas or to um, be part of big events because of the school's reputation. So yeah. It was not all bad, but it was def- there were definitely horrible parts. So that's what we were sharing today. So if you are a teacher, I would really like to know what you think of... I, I really want to know what you think of your experience in secondary school now. If you are currently a teacher and you look back and you think like... Um, um, whether you can understand understand what your teachers were going through at that time or do you also look back and think that they were too much you know what i mean because we are both not teachers so i don't think we can very accurately describe what teachers are going through i think you said it very well yeah uh yep yeah, so that's all for today but also if you do have any very exciting secondary school um cited, exciting secondary school stories also please let us know i will be, i will be very interested to hear them but of course if it involves any minors or other people's tai chi so please today don't name them yeah please don't name them we also uh Today, all the things, all the all the incidents that I mentioned today are just mostly pertaining to myself. Uh. So uh, other other people's business, I just mentioned, but no names. So yep, that's all for today. Thank you for listening and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye!